Hello everybody, and today as you can see what we're going to be learning about is a wired missile. Um, today we're going to be making things called homing missiles. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to find a person's GPS coordinates or where they're at, um, and it's going to go ahead and apply thrust in their direction, meaning it's going to go straight at them. Um, basically, uh, it's just going to be mass destruction depending on what you what you want to do with it. You can apply this technique to different things. You can apply this to an auto turret and you can make it go in a I mean you can you can make it like a rod. Okay. And you can make it go up, just shoot everybody down and you can use this type of technique to do just about anything else. Okay, so what we're going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and lift this up in the air a little bit cuz there's some stuff we got to do on the bottom too. Before we do anything, we're going to change the weight so we don't forget. We're going to change the weight to 6. Okay, um, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and start putting some wired stuff on it. So, we're going to need the beacon sensor. Beacon sensor is a big thing that we need. Um, what you're going to want on that, if, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you're going to need to output world position GPS coordinates or records. Um, that's all you really need on it. I put a few other ones on it just in case of things I like to put together with it. Okay, that's on there. Now we need a target finder. And I have the range, huge number. Just a massive number. Just to, um, just so it can track, you know, people completely across the map. And, uh, Anyways, sorry about that. Um, you're gonna need to make that a massive number. That way, it tracks people where stuff needs to go. Okay, I have target players. Do not target owner and target NPCs um, checked. And I have do not target owner stuff unchecked due to the fact I'd like to be able to test this on NPCs without the killing my members stuff. Yeah. Um, go ahead and spawn that in the center. Next, you're gonna need wired detection. We're gonna need. I'm going to shut this. You need to have a gyroscope, okay? Or not gyroscope. A GPS. There it is. Sorry. Wow, that was pretty bad. Okay. Um, go ahead and spawn that wherever you like. Really, it doesn't matter the placement of these as long as they're on there. Input and output, we need a numpad input. And I'm gonna set that up right underneath the target finder. Okay, we're also gonna need a vector thruster. And with the vector thruster, same thing as the target finder, you're gonna want an extremely high number for your force multiplier and maximum. Your multiplier is how fast it gets to the, the highest speed it can go which in my case I can't even go up that high I think um, and your your uh, this down here this little box you need to make sure XYZ world is check is is in there you gotta have that if you don't it's gonna go off of local XYZ coordinates and it's just not even gonna go to where you want it to go um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn that Make sure you double click because for some reason they're stupid and yeah, you have to double click. It's retarded. Okay, um, next we need to go to wire control. We're going to go to arithmetic and we're going to go to subtract. Okay. Now, I like to have my chips a little bit small for neatness. You can make whatever you like as long as they're on here. As I said, it does not matter. Okay, and that should be that. Okay, so before we wire all that, so we don't forget, we're going to put a thruster on the bottom, extremely high number. Make sure it's a toggled thruster. Um, I'm going to put a couple of them on here for the fun of it, just so I can have some really cool looking effects. Uh, okay. And I'm right. That's not what I wanted to do. There. And what that's going to do, uh, I'm going to put another one here just in case. What that's going to do is uh, 
create a cool looking effect. However, that is very loud. Um, wow. Okay. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and start wiring some stuff together. So we're going to go to wire tools. I like to use wire advanced because it's a little bit easier to use in my opinion. We're going to go ahead and wire. I'm getting to slow motion here. There we go. Okay, now we need to wire a target of the beacon sensor to the target finder. Output 1. We want to wire the multiply of the vector thruster to the numpad input. X of the vector thruster to our X chip, which is going to be our first chip. Our Y to the next chip. And our Z to the next chip. And what that does is now you know what chip is what. Um, basically, this is gonna be your first chip's your X, Y, and Z. That's your coordinates of the player you're tracking. Okay, and in doing so, you're gonna be telling the vector thruster exactly where that person is. Okay, so we need to continue to wire some stuff up. Okay. So now we want to wire A of the subtract chip to the GPS X. You want to wire B of the same subtract chip to the beacon sensor output world X. And that's for your X chip, which will be your first trip, your first chip. On your Y chip, which is your second chip right after that, you're gonna go from the A to the GPS output Y. And you're going to go B to the beacon sensor output worldwide. Okay. On your last subtract, which will be your Z or your Z for some people that like to call it that, you're going to go A to the GPS, Z, and B to the beacon sensor output world Z. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a pattern there, it's a little easier to follow. And yeah, that's that. Hold on one second. Let me turn down my game volume. That is extremely loud. Audio, game volume. No wonder. All right, we put that down about right there. Okay, that should do that. Um, not as loud. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and advance dupe that so that we have that. Uh, okay, advance dupe. All right, and now we're going to spawn an NPC and see if the tracking is working. Okay, he's painted red, target finder's locked on to him. Turn on the beginning thrusters, okay? And your toggled numpad input is is what's going to start the tracking. So when you hit that, you're going to see stuff coming out. That's your tracking. Or if you put no effects, you're not going to see anything. So you're going to want it to go up in the air a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and unfreeze that, go up in the air, and then hit the tracking, and boom, done. So when you when you want it to go, what you do, you launch it, you let it go up in the air a little bit, you hit enter, and then it'll automatically track to the player. However, when it gets to the player, if they're in no clip and they're up above the ground a little ways, it will not explode on them. That is in the advanced tutorial that will be coming in next. Um, this concludes this ASD Nation gaming tutorial. Um, hope to see you guys soon in the server. Uh, along with the cam studio download which is what I use today um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time